Dear students, this is Dr. N. Venkata Chalapati, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. So, I would like to discuss on process overview of metal casting process. Let us see, in this case, I would like to focus on automation in foundry. Why the automation is required for a foundry process? In general, in a manual foundry means, uh, first we should make preparation of the mold cavity. That is molten metal, how we can able to prepare with the hot conditions and uh, how you can prepare the pattern and how you can prepare the hand molding, machine molding process that molding sand molds also can prepare and also you can do the inspection with the some short blasting machines and the transformation of transport from the furnace to the mold cavity you can use the some AGVs automated guided vehicles and automated storage and uh, uh, retrieval process also and moving course and patterns also very important okay so in general automation nowadays uh, the human intervention will be very very nominal and minimum because of to get a good quality components and in order to the fast accuracy and you can able to produce the fast more more mass production rate uh, generally can go for the automation so and another interesting thing is automation in foundry means uh, especially where pouring the molten metal into the mold cavity there, there is a efficient use in this robot and all because uh, the molten metal which may be comprised of the reused castings uh, and some chemicals and uh, some of the what you called uh, pig iron uh, metal pieces all will pour into that uh, uh, furnace and it can be processed uh, uh, in a proper manner and like cupola furnace or induction furnace or uh, what you call uh, electrical furnace etc and based on all this process and all you can able to uh, do a human being means uh, some there is a dangerous for it is in a hot condition more than 1400 degree centigrade temperature will be there in the temperature a human being cannot handle that molten metal obviously you can able to prefer that to robot also that pouring the molten metal in the mold cavity also that is why the pouring the molds uh, we can use the robot and cleaning or short blasting machine also comes under the automation once you can uh, keep that uh, uh, after um, solidification time you can remove the extra metals like runner riser and gate can be eliminated effectively and some of the inspection techniques where you can perform automatic storage system, automatic retrieval system can be used too. And some complex shape and complex hollow parts and all, they can prefer moving cores and patterns. Patterns also very widely used. Okay. So this is what about the uh, automation in foundry required. And even a student having a couple of years experience in foundry industry, definitely a lot of opportunities in abroad. Abroad in the sense uh, they should become a plant manager and quality control engineer and uh, molten metal in charge. A lot of designation of the engineer jobs is available in abroad. Uh, you may get the good packages, but the only thing is you need to have a clear idea about the concept of the metal casting process in that how we can prepare the pattern and also how we can able to understand the uh, different uh, uh, what you call different techniques involved in that uh, pattern and how you can pour the molten metal uh, in a stipulated pouring time that is also a very interesting one and another important thing is the heat treatment so whenever after uh, making the component the heat treatment also one of the most important process where it can be defined as heating the metal, heating, holding and cooling. So this is called heating, this is holding, this is cooling. Okay. And whenever, so the term heat treatment can be defined as it is the process of heating the metals and holding stipulated time and cooling with the required in order to form the final casting okay and uh, the main uh, purpose of the heat treatment the major types of heat treatment process are there is annealing process uh, normalizing process and uh, hardening uh, hardenability process so all these process under uh, main purpose of handling is to relieve the internal stresses to relieve the internal stresses and uh, what you call uh, improve the 
machinability and improve the mechanical and magnetic properties so the term heat treatment is the widely used okay and uh, coming to this uh, transformation transport from the molten metal to the mold cavity department we can use the some uh, agvs automated guided vehicles and uh, automated uh, uh, storage systems we can be used and even sometimes also wherever the hollow portion is required in a complex shape so moving cores and patterns also widely used okay now let us see the the main reasons for automation so in general what is the importance now it is labor cost reductions whenever you can able to reduce the labor cost so the labor cannot able to do for the 24 by 7 three shift cannot able to work there will be a change person to person quality will be differ even the starting morning time he may be good and uh, afternoon and evening time that uh, what you call uh, way of working can be reduced work product will be reduced and uh, the product quality and consistency these are very very important especially when you produce a sound casting when you wanted to produce a sound casting the primary reasons is metal caster to adapt the automation system metal caster to adapt the automation system look at in this diagram what is the basic difference between a manual and automated with the robot so for example you can see the how they can pour the molten metal manually if if any damage because of that molten metal it is a very very uh, high temperature it is approximately more than 1400 to 1500 degrees centigrade in this red hot condition what will happen it can be poured uh if any one drop of that metal will fell on body it may be very dangerous for the human being so that is the reason they can change the molten metal pouring and all automated with the robot so they can use the robot for doing all this uh, pouring of the molten metal obviously they can improve the product quality improve the product quality and there is a consistency among the primary reasons such as uh, metal caster to adopt the automation system okay so uh, look, look at the the main reasons for automation can be subdivided into it can increase the manufacturing efficiency so whatever when you wanted to produce a good quality product uh, obviously you need to follow the pattern making and mold making and how you can provide the cooling system that is solubilization time and how do you reduce the cost reducing cost the human in, in human intervention will be minimized instead of the human wherever needed some automatic and semi automatic machines can be used even for example if you see Uh, what you call sand mold sand mold making process there are two type hand molding process machine molding process the machine molding process where you can able to use this sand slinger and uh, what you call uh, machine molding it is in a hydraulic and pneumatic type of machines can be used in order to get the compressive strength will more effective so effective compressive strength can be done automatically it can have a some good casting otherwise uh, if the poor ramming will be there there will be uh, some defects like uh, blow holes and shrinkage uh, type of uh, defects may be produced okay and another thing is reliability in harsh environment especially nowadays the people are uh, not interested to go join in a foundry industry because uh, we should work with that sand Uh, sand nowadays the student uh, mindset will be they should work in a centralized air conditioner room they don't want to focus uh, some creativity but that is why if you have a two years of hands on experience in uh, foundry industry definitely you have lot of opportunity in not only india in abroad also you may get uh, some good package for the mechanical engineers uh, for doing this foundry industry okay so that is why the working in a harsh environment is very very important with uh, your the way of thinking also should be effective and you should uh, use your uh, creative analysis for pouring the molten metal and uh, how you can design the component uh, what is the pattern making uh, everything should be very important thing and another thing is release of skilled man power so obviously so some people they are asking for molten metal preparation and uh, shifting molten metal from furnace to the mold cavity they'll charge very high so that the skilled labor can be releasing and instead of the skilled labor you can able to use the 
some uh, automation automated uh, machineries so that once only can purchase the automated machines so the remaining time they didn't required a such type of investment uh, so that productivity also can be improved and uh, maximize space so this is what automation means majorly maximize space so that uh, environment also look will be beautiful and uh, even the manpower will be more uh, the space occupation also will be more in, in this uh, automated machines are there in the stipulated uh, place also can able to arrange in the section wise the one section will comprise of uh, pattern design and another section is a mold making design another section is the molten metal preparation the another section will be short blasting machines where you can able to remove the uh, runner riser rejection rate can be minimized that's why right. and the mainly when you wanted to improve the quality especially traditionally the people are following all the manual production only doing so lot of rejections so every day morning 9:30 all the section managers okay quality control molten metal in charge and uh, pattern making design and mold preparation and one general manager will all the people will uh, uh, come to the first morning the first uh, nine, nine o'clock itself they can able to check the wherever that uh, defects are there that easily identified and that defect can be uh, in which time that is in the first shift or second shift and third shift uh, in which shift they can able to identify that is our expertise the exploiters of the human being they can able to identify so obviously that is why the human intervention slightly they can remove and uh, 10 members removing the they can instead of that 10 human being they can add one robot so that 10 people work easy one robot can able to perform better and effectively and uh, look at another interesting concept is heat transfer in casting process heat transfer in casting process the heat transfer during solidification of castings involves three modes of heat transfer so in general this red hearted molten metal when poured into the molten mold cavity so how the heat transfer takes place for solidification of the casting which involves basically three modes especially for a mechanical engineer the next third or pre final year you can able to study the interested subject called heat transfer that uh, term heat transfer can be defined as uh, uh, the three important uh, study that is a conduction convection radiation okay conduction convection radiation so these three parameters are very very important where you can able to analyze the many aspects of the case uh, casting like uh, pouring how you can pour the molten metal from the ladle to the mold cavity and how the heat transfer even that uh, temperature can be reduced means again it is difficult to fill the molten metal into the mold cavity exact time and uh, if you are not providing proper solidification time that leads to be some drawbacks like porosity and uh, some uh, what you call uh, defects also can be occur and uh, that is why the cooling rate is the rate at which the function of volume on surface area so this is what about the heat transfer in the casting process and look at uh, the design consideration of cast parts so what are the various design consideration of cast parts for example you can see the uh, there is a clear uh, classification of uh, designing of elements uh, poor and good what what about the poor what about the good qualities and uh, how we can able to identify the some like shrinkage cavity defect and uh, some defect may be occur okay so here the design of component and compression then intention design of component in comparison then intention uh, and one more thing is uh, we can use of external devices for strengthen the part under the tension so even wherever the filler so some horizontal vertical there is a fillet will be there okay the provision of fillet trade is also very important in order to avoid the abrupt changes in the cross section abrupt changes in the cross section and let us see the some of the important uh, terminology uh, where you can 
do the good deeds in consideration. The that's what allowance is. The shrinkage. In shrinkage allowance, majorly to avoid the cracking during the cooling process, there should be shrinkage allowance, and it will be staggered ribs change in the intersection geometry, and the pattern makers shrinkage allowance. It is obviously ten uh, to twenty. Ten to twenty. Mm per meter. So obviously, when you the shrinkage elements can be uh, uh, the unit is mm per meter. That is equal to one by thousand mm per mm. So in this case, if you take the ten uh, divided by thousand, which gives the zero point zero one mm per mm. So for example, hundred mm size of uh, Uh, shinkes elements when wanted to produce 100 mm says you need to add or subtract uh, 5 mm this is 0.01 so uh, 99.99 okay so that uh, if you use this thing then you can able to get exactly 100 mm size otherwise uh, how we can calculate uh, with respect of this uh, shinkes elements okay And uh, next, uh, coming to this draft elements. So wherever while designing consideration of the cast parts, so majorly uh, the pattern, if it is a straight straight uh, line, if it is in a vertical pattern, when you wanted to remove the pattern, uh, that mold cavity walls are uh, breaking down. So that in order to avoid the uh, mold cavities uh, breaking, so you can use the Some draft elements. The draft can be majorly uh, either internal draft or external draft. It can be vary from 0.5 to 2 degrees, and sometimes uh, 5 to 15 mm per meter. The range, okay. So and majorly, uh, these are easy removal of the pattern without damaging of the mold cavity and mold also, okay. So and here also can able to prefer. The dimensional tolerances are wide as wide as possible within the limits, and for the letters and markings also very important uh, for providing the strap tolerances. Okay. Now look at molten metal pour. How you can pour the molten metal in the series of the mold cavities? For example, you can see the uh, the manufacturing of cast metal relies on the furnaces that can get. Hot enough to bring the metals to liquid state. So exactly, the pouring time is very very important. Pouring time, you need to uh, do exactly. It may vary for one minute or sixty seconds. Okay, exactly the correct amount of pouring time can be. Uh, used otherwise you need to have some defects you need to have uh, the overflow molten metal will occur that leads to some defect in the casting and the short incomplete filling of the mold cavity also there is again problem so that uh, that manufacturing cost will be some more occur in this uh, doing the uh, uh, this preparation okay so that's why the manufacturing of cast metal relies on the Furnaces that can get hot enough to bring the metals to liquid state, hot enough to bring the metal to liquid state. This is called about the molten metal core. Next, look at the solidification. Why you are going to have this uh, solidification? Solidification. The casting solidification is actually transformation of liquid phase to the solid phase with the liberation of latent heat of the fusion. So during this metallurgical process, what you know that uh, some of the casting defects like uh, shrinkages, porosity, hot taste will be occur. Okay. So now let us see the solidification temperatures. So this is what about how we can able to focus on this solidification temperature. We can use this uh, ANSI software exactly where the uh, hot temperature will be occur. For example, you can see the aluminum alloys. Aluminum alloys. Optimum pouring temperature range is 700 degrees centigrade to 750 degrees centigrade. Whereas at the temperatures are higher than this range, the casting results in large crystals, low strength, and gases are entrapped in the castings, leading to defects known as blow holes. So this is what about uh, uh, solidification temperatures also very important uh, while designing the 
uh, molten metal. So, wherever you can able to understand this uh, uh, automation in casting process while uh, performing in prototyping, you can able to do different type of alloys, how the optimum pouring temperature, how much you can able to reduce how much you can able to improve it can be vary from the metal to metal for example hss it will be different if it is a uh, <coughs> other materials it can be different uh, and all these will main result is to improve the good strength and the gases entrop in the castings which will lead to be defects you can call it as a blow holes okay now look at these are the some important casting defects the term casting defects are these are the imperfections. These are the imperfections so where you can able to have unwanted irregularities that appear in the casting during metal casting process. Any process in a manufacturing process, either it may be a casting or fabrication of welding or forging and uh, <coughs> all these process, there will be some imperfections. Why it happened? So that is what we are human beings are working more in that uh, even uh, making the mold mold cavities and the preparation of the molten metal and uh, uh, solidification time uh, timing preparation and short blasting removing of runner riser etc. All this comes under this thing. Okay, so this is what about how we can able to do this. Uh, uh, Manually, uh, anyway, human being made a mistakes. So, so the insert to avoid such mistakes, we can able to use the automation. So that is why the automation in casting plays an important and vital role in order to have some uh, <coughs> uh, good idea to give the more productivity in the metal casting process. And these are the some important references where you can able to refer all these uh, important diagrams and some uh, animations like uh, this uh, how the pouring the molten metal into that mold cavity how the series of uh, process occur and uh, this is what some designing parameters and uh, this heat transfer in the castings uh, and this is the manual with uh, automated robot all this uh, comes under the effective uh, thing and uh, these are the some of the references where I can operate the some figures and etc. Okay, so this is what about the overall uh, idea of the metal casting where you need to have some uh, what you call a good quality product while using the automation. Okay, so thank you, thank you for this uh, session. Next class we will discuss some more important aspects. Good luck. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.